Hi, I'm Diane Bungie, and I'm here at the Creative Festival in downtown Toronto. And I'm going to show you an amazing feature that we have with our Bernina machines called the Bernina Cutwork Accessory. This cutwork accessory is just a very small, tiny tool, and it goes into your machine exactly as you would put your needle. It fits in exactly where your needle goes into your machine. There's also another element to the cutwork accessory, and that is software. It comes with a software, and in the software, it's real simple to create designs using um, uh, any images that you currently have. I'm going to create a new one here just to show you how quick and easy it is. We're going to create a new design, and I'm going to find my design. I'm going to use this little Hawaiian um, applique design, and I'm going to say that I'm going to put it in the size hoop that I need, and I'm just going to click next. And then then I get to choose what fabric I'm going to be using, whether it's going to be cotton or fleece or whatever, and I've chosen cotton, and we're going to click next and finished. And there is our design on the screen in the software. It's not cut yet. All we have to do is select the design. Now I brought in this design because there are two elements to this design and how easy it is to do more than one element at one time. You just right click and you click on combine and now it becomes two elements become one and you just click on the cut work and there it is, it's done. It's cut, it's ready now for you for cutting. But when we cut it out, we don't want to just cut it out. What we want to do is we want to be able to stitch it down. So we can also stitch it down. So I'm just going undo. I would save this now, but I'm going to just undo right now for our purposes here today. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose applique. I'm going to come over and choose an applique stitch. And when I zoom in, that's how easy it is to do the design. I can zoom in and there's my applique stitch. I don't just have an applique stitch, I have many stitches. I have over 300 stitches that I can choose from that can go around the outside of my design. Now I would save this design. I would take this design and I would save it to my USB. And then I will bring my USB to my sewing machine and we'll cut it out next. Now for this part of my demo, I want to tell you how you're going to hoop your fabric. You're going to hoop your fabric and you're going to use, there is a product called Applique Fuse and Fix. It's fusible on one side, paper on the other. And you're going to attach it to the back of your fabric and you're going to hoop it with stabilizer and then you're going to attach your hoop to your machine. Then when you go to stitch it, you just touch the start stop because your machine knows that it is cut work and it has the cut work uh, symbol there and it's going to cut. So here it is, it is cutting right now and it is finishing the design, the last part of the design for us. I already had it cut, that's why it puckered. Then you just simply remove it from the hoop and it's all cut and you just take it out and there you have a perfect little dove all cut out ready for applique. The next step to doing the cut work design is to take your design and stitch the outline on your fabric because you really want to know where you're going to place that. So you're going to uh, thread up your machine and what it will do, it will stitch the outline and the outline only. And here it is, it's finishing up the last part of the design. And there it is, it's finished. The next step, you just remove your design from your embroidery machine. And then you take your little black dove, because the applique fuse and fix, you're now going to remove that paper piece because on the back, this is sticky. You take the sticky side, of course, and you put it down on and use your outline as your guide and you place your dove on your fabric and it is outlined. In, inside the outline. And then when you're finished doing that, what you will do next is you will put it back into the embroidery machine and you will do the applique stitch all the way around it. And that's it, your cut work is done. Not only can you do applique with the cut work tool, but you can create shapes just that would be freestanding to make a mobile or Christmas ornaments or anything that you wanna do. You can have freestanding as well. Also, you'll be able to make cutwork doilies. This one is a cutwork doily. It's not, it's not all washed away. I used a wash away stabilizer here, but it's not all washed away so that you can see that you actually need to put another layer after you've done your cutwork because now it gets a satin stitch over it and you need to stabilize that stitch using a bit of water soluble stabilizer. But there's more, there's always more. 
not only can you do something like that, but you can actually create a quilt and cut out all your curved pieces. If you've ever done an apple core quilt or granny squares or anything like that, cutting out all these uh, would take a lot of time. But when they're cut with the cut work tool, they're cut perfectly. They're like they're die cut. They're like laser cut. So they are a perfect shape so that when you go to piece them together, they all work together nice and easy. So lots of things you can do with the creative cut work tool.